The battered rock house has been standing on the banks of the Cane River Lake, the former Red River, for over 150 years. The structure is an important heritage resource on the local, state, and national levels due to its physical and cultural significance. The site was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1980. The St. Augustine Historical Society has owned and maintained the structure since 1979. Since its acquisition, the St. Augustine Historical Society and the wider local and state agencies have expended great efforts to preserve, restore, and maintain the Baton Rock House. To facilitate continued efforts, the property was recently documented with a Ferro Photon 120 3D laser scanner and a FLIR SC660 thermal imaging camera in an effort to record and assess the physical condition of the structure so that a preservation and maintenance plan can be designed and implemented. Several of the images and models shown on this video were created utilizing this data. The Baton Rock House is one of four surviving examples of Poteau and Terre and Boussillage construction in the nation and the only remaining example in the state of Louisiana. It is important to the Cane River Creole community because it served as the area's first convent and school. The structure is also important to the local community because of its association with its patriarch, Augusta Matoir. The house was also used as a doctor's office and a bakery. The Baton Rock House is a one-story, three-bay French Creole cottage with a side gabled aluminum roof. It has a front gallery with five square posts with no railing. The two doors are batten wood and each hangs on two wrought iron hinges. The window is glassless with a batten wood shutter with two wrought iron hinges. It has a brick chimney that rests slightly off center to the north between the two doors. A wood gutter runs the entire length of the front facade at the roof line and extends into a brick cistern located to the south of the structure. The south facing facade is covered in horizontal cypress clapboards from the ground level to the roof line. The area within the roof line is covered in cypress shingles. There are two window openings with cypress batten wood shutters that each hang on two right arm hinges. There is evidence that these two window openings were originally doorways or floor to ceiling windows. The rear west facing facade is covered with horizontal lane cypress clapboards with a cypress batten wood door that leads into the larger south room. Two cabinets, small rooms often used as bedrooms or storage areas, are located at the rear of the structure on each side of the door. Each cabinet is accessed through a batten wood door. A built-in hinge ladder with a rope pulley is positioned directly to the north of the main house rear exterior door. The ladder provides access to the attic, which was used as sleeping quarters when the Baton Rock House was used as a convent. The north-facing facade is covered from ground to roof line with horizontal cypress clapboards, and cypress shingles cover the area within the roof line. The facade has two window openings with cypress batten wood shutters, each hung on two right iron hinges. The interior of the structure consists of two rooms with a shared chimney and one adjoining interior doorway. The south room was used as a salon or living area, and the north room was used as the bedroom chamber. Two cabinets are located to the rear of the structure with a central loggia or covered entryway. The floors are packed dirt. There is no wall covering, so the boussillage infill and vertical posts are visible in all of the interior walls. The horizontal beams and attic floor planks serve as the ceiling. Baton Rock House is a unique treasure to the Cane River Creole community, the state of Louisiana, and the nation as a whole. Please join the St. Augustine Historical Society and other stewards of the significant heritage resource in their efforts to preserve, maintain, and protect the Baton Rock House. Mm -hmm.